In the last episode, I hit the road and drove to Death Valley National Park on the first leg of this journey. Today, we're going to be photographing the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes. Hey, good morning. That was an absolutely miserable night I'm trying to heat up here. So my tent is well too ventilated to hold in heat, so my space heater did absolutely nothing. And uh, yeah, I was able to stay warm on top, but the ground was just sucking the heat right out of me, so I barely slept. But anyhow, since we're at this once, probably once a lifetime opportunity, we're at the sand dunes over here at Death Valley National Park. So I'm going to try and layer on some more clothes and we're going to go out for a hike this morning and see if we can capture sunset over the dunes. Unfortunately, I forgot to charge the GoPro last night, so I'm going to be filming this episode on my phone. Welcome to the Mesquite Sand Dunes. Well, doing my best to keep the uh, photography group behind me out of my Im Im image. Um, I'm getting some good shots here this morning. Oh my gosh, it's it's definitely cold here though. So one bad thing about the spot is that there's a lot of footprints everywhere, and that's not really what I had wanted to have in my images. But I knew because of the parking lot down there that this would be heavily trampled. Um, and looking as far as I can see out there, it is heavily trampled. <laughs> so I have to make do. So I'm using my zoom lens to try and capture some micro landscapes so I'm not capturing the photography group that's back here. Um, and also that helps to hide a lot of the footprints that are in the sand. Now, another thing, I'm sinking in the sand. Totally forgot to pack CDs or some type of pads to put my tripod on to keep it from sinking down. So yeah, it's a lot of sand everywhere and uh, oh good. Two more people right in my composition. I'm not kidding you. Look at that, right down there along this leading line. They decided that they're going to walk down it. Photographing sand dunes has been a goal of mine for quite some time. I would rather photograph more pristine dunes and not ones that have been trampled on. There are four elements that you'll be battling out here. Number one, the footprints. Footprints will be everywhere. Number two, the sand. We are here to photograph the sand, but it will get into everything. Number three, the temperature. It is either too hot in the summer or you better be ready for the cold in winter. And finally, you'll be battling the people. Unfortunately, we will see that most will walk right into your composition as opposed to behind you, which would be more courteous. Well, we're getting some beautiful light on the clouds behind us. Unfortunately, there's no clouds towards the sun and very few in the direction that I'm, that I'm uh, trying to photograph in. But we continue to get people who come up these sand dunes looking at me, seeing the direction of my camera and come right up. And this couple came very close to us having discussion because they just wanted to stand there. Uh, finally, the young lady turned around and realized, oh, there's a photographer. So they're starting to move down that sand dune now. <sighs> All right. Well, it is cold. My toes are cold. My fingers are cold. I wouldn't hang out there, hang in here. So, uh, definitely taking some notes here. Did not charge this camera's batteries, and it's cold out here, so they're draining pretty fast. So I'm hoping I get, I have enough power to take some images when the sun cuts across these dunes. Whew, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna remember 
definitely, definitely gonna remember to put on the, uh, I got uh, toe warmers and hand warmers. <sighs> totally forgot to bring them with me here. They're in the Jeep. Jeep's that way. Oh, come on, son. I want some breakfast. I want to warm up. I stuck my toes against the heater in the car. The true magic of the sand dunes is right at the fringes of daylight. This is when the peaks of the ripples in the sand capture the light. I can tell you what little warmth the sun's providing right now. It's very welcome. So, definitely gonna stop and get a hot cup of coffee at the uh, camp store on my way in. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful out here. Oh, so it's a little bit warmer. Hard to believe that this place is gonna be over 100 degrees hotter six months from now, even less than six months from now. The highest sand dunes were very windswept and beautiful, except for the people on top of them. This requires a little bit of editing. Hey guys, I'm coming to you from the future, just interrupting this episode for a minute here. I was going to show you how I removed people from that sand dune you just saw and try to keep it all looking natural, but unfortunately, Adobe Lightroom has just blown up and I uh, did a little research found out this issue with importing images in where it just seizes up and crash has been an issue that's been around for years and I've yet to find any viable solution from Adobe on this one so I uh, I'm attempting to do their cleanup agent right now but I can tell you the internet where I'm at is so bad it takes an hour per attempt to fix this thing. I do have my old computer with me just in case I can transfer the license over to that and that's probably what I'll be doing this evening but um, not sure if it's going to fix or not so what I'll do for you guys is in the future after I get through this current travel series I'm in I'll go ahead and do another one and show all of you how I gracefully remove the people from that image so let's get back to the episode. Sometimes it is okay to leave people in your images. In this case, it gives a sense of scale to the sand dunes. From a stock photography perspective, since these people are too small to be recognizable, stock agencies may accept images like this without a model release. With the sun now just above the horizon, I quickly changed my setup to allow for a panorama. This image could only be improved if the footprints were not present. Considering this is the first time I've ever been able to capture sand dunes, I'll take it. It's a good thing I got this shot because now I have some uninvited guests. These people have been seeing me standing here for like the last 15 minutes and they park it right in front of me. Alright, I think I've had enough of the cold for a while. So, had a, another, uh, or a couple come up here, saw me taking pictures and diverted and went behind me. And of course I thanked them for doing that. Uh, so I don't know why people just cannot be courteous in this day and age. Whew. All right, so guys, I'm gonna head back to the camp store, get myself some hot, a hot cup of coffee. I've got a lot of work to do here. I gotta figure out why the GoPro is jammed uh, so I can get the video off that and continue using it. Gotta get this camera's batteries charged. Need to figure out how I'm going to handle two more nights of winter camping because I am not gonna stay in a tent uh, with the uh, temperatures or with the fact that I could not actually stay warm last night because like I said, I really did not get any sleep. And uh, pack things up and continue my trek north and uh, 
get to the my final destination so guys if you want to support this channel make sure you like subscribe and share to this channel also please check out patreon.com forward slash ewj if you'd like to check out my bonus content and uh, support this channel even further i'm gonna get warm you guys all have a good day remember never stop exploring i'm exhausted right now but i'm not gonna stop take care everybody